In this video, we will discuss operating principle of a offload tap changer. By using this basic diagram, we will study how tap changing done in a offload tap changer. We know that tap is provided in high voltage side of a transformer and in a transformer with offload tap changer, high voltage winding is divided in two part and these two parts are connected in series with each other by this offload tap changer. Notice that there is six number of taps in high voltage winding, but we have only three number of selectable tap positions in this offload tap changer. Also notice that this six number of taps are connected with six number of starts in offload tap changer and these starts are not connected with each other. As a result, there is no connectivity between upper and lower side of high voltage winding. But using a rotable arm like this, we can easily establish connection between upper and lower winding. At tap position 1, this rotary switch is placed in this condition and upper and lower windings are now connected. HV current will flow in this path. So this is a closed circuit and connection is established. Now we want to change tap position from 1 to 2 and in tap position 2 B and B dash must be shorted. So we will rotate this rotary switch and at this position as B and B dash terminals are connected, so HV current will flow in this path. So a path is established and upper and lower windings are connected. Similarly, if we want to change tap position from 2 to 3, then at tap position 3 as C and C dash should be shorted. So this rotary switch will rotate and short C and C dash terminals. So a connection between upper and lower winding is again established. And now the HV current will flow through this path. Notice that during changing of tap position from 1 to 3, we are actually reducing number of turn in HV winding of transformer, keeping number of turn in LV winding constant. As a result, terminal voltage in LV side of this transformer is increased. But this step changing operation should be performed after switching off the load. Because in a tap changing operation by a offload tap changer, there will be a momentary discontinuity between upper and lower winding of this transformer. Suppose we want to change tap from 1 to 2 position and for this, this shaft will start rotating and at this position, notice that there is no continuity between upper and lower side of HV winding. So there will be a momentary disconnection between upper and lower side of HV winding. So if this operation is done without switching off the load, then there will be a huge flashover in offload tap changer. So in this example, we see there are three number of selectable tap position. Now at which tap voltage at LV side will be maximum? Please answer in comment section. For more video like this, stay tuned by subscribing AD Current channel and don't forget the bell icon for further notifications.